Baya Hiba is a popular tourist destination, a lively town picturesquely situated next to a white sandy Caribbean beach, surrounded by tropical wildlife not far from Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. As everywhere in the Caribbean, the marine and coastal habitats are challenged by local and global threats, such as coastal development and destruction and rising seawater temperature. But something is going on in Baya Hiba. A nonprofit organization called Fundamar has its headquarters here. Rita Solaris is Fundamar's executive director. I think the whole community is part of Fundamar. The truth is, is that we have a very good team, and what I think is most valuable is that it comes from Bayahiba, from the community itself, and that helps a lot in marine conservation. Within the Marine Biodiversity Program, we have a reef health monitoring program, which is like our indicator of whether things are going well or bad. And then we have the reef restoration program, where we work on both the asexual part of the Acropora palmata and the cervicornis, and the sexual part with seven tropical species. I think that the reefs have an extremely important value. But unfortunately, people see the forests, the beach, but they don't see the reefs. They feed on the reefs and they enjoy what the reefs provide, but they don't understand the concept. And that's what we have seen. By integrating the community, we have seen how they themselves understand and comprehend how the reefs work, and that has made them fall in love with the reefs. Because when you really get into the world of the coral reef, you see the polyp and you see how it feeds, you see the connection. And I think that's what makes you fall in love, at least for me. Viable coral reefs secure the livelihood of many people through the tourism industry and local fisheries. Many snorkelers and divers come to enjoy the Dominican underwater world each year. However, growing back corals is not an easy task to accomplish. Since 2018, Fundamar has partnered with the nonprofit organization SeaCore. Eric Bickel is SeaCore's director of technology and implementation. As part of our implementation program, which is our program to train and build capacity within organizations to do larval propagation and to use the tools and methodologies that we've developed, um, Fundamar, the group here in Baye and in Dominican Republic, was the first group that we brought on board. And so they are an incredibly important group. They uh, they are the most mature within our program and we've been working with them over the last few years to help them scale the work that they're doing in, uh, in coral restoration. Um, within kind of the, the, the restoration or coral enhancement field, what we need to do is be able to make that jump from doing these small um, uh, hectare or smaller sized projects and really scaling that to an impactful level, to really have an ecosystem effect to the work that we're doing. The oceans are changing and we have to build in the ability for, uh, for the corals and for the populations and the ecosystems that we're working on to be able to adapt to those changes. And right now, the best tool we have to do that is building genetic diversity. And the best tool that we have to building genetic diversity is allowing uh, corals to sexually reproduce before we use them for restoration. That allows us to get as many genotypes out into the population as possible and helps us begin to build resilience. Fundamar and Secor have set up a pilot project to restore the endangered Elkhorn coral on Sombrero Reef, right off the shore of Bayahiba. This coral species has once dominated wave-exposed habitats and is an important natural wave-breaker protecting shores. The first baby corals were put out on Sombrero Reef in 2019, and today, all cohorts are growing well. Now, Fundamar and Secor have committed to the biggest coral restoration project ever done. 
More than four hectares of reef will be enhanced through coral seeding within the next three years. I think the hope we all have is that we will succeed, that we will make that change and that we will overcome those difficulties and that we will recover our coral reefs. I know it is difficult, but I believe that with enthusiasm and will, we still have time.